immigration, how do you think? Immigration? No, I don't care about you. <laughs> how, your, your leadership in immigration, how do you think that uh, not only can help Colorado, but the other states as well? Well, of course, it does take somebody willing to stand up, as Governor Brewer has already done in Arizona. Um, but there is a, you know, right now, it's amazing that how that movement has spread all over the United States. And um, we can, as a, I think, a group of governors, fighting illegal immigration through mandating um, E-Verify to begin with, through uh, adopting the same sort of law that Arizona has adopted. We can be, because you see, you almost have to do that. Uh, state after state after state, because the more difficult it is for people to stay in one state if they're illegally present, the more you're going to get them coming to your state if you make it a sanctuary state. That's what's, the, you know, I'll never forget that ad on, it was, uh, or I mean, it was on a, it wasn't an ad, it was a television, uh, like a news show channel, it was NBC or a big, you know, one of the big networks, and they were interviewing this lady in Arizona. She had six children, all, all of them were on welfare, all of them on food stamps, I should say, and um, she said, uh, now that Arizona has done that, she says, I'm going, I'm leaving, I'm going to Colorado. <laughs> well, there are a lot of others that are doing the same thing. So uh, once they get a, an idea, once people understand that the door is no longer the open here, the welcome mat is not there for illegal immigrants, we're going to find our job picture will improve. We're going to find that the even not just the number of jobs, but the salary will increase because there aren't so many people competing for that for those low low end low skilled jobs. Um, our costs of, it, of medical care will go down, our costs of prison incarceration will go down. So all kinds of good things will happen once you say Colorado is no longer open to illegal, Ill, I, once you say Colorado is no longer open to illegal aliens, once you take the welcome mat away for them. Okay, can you just, uh, for those people that do not live in Colorado and are not familiar with the sanctuary city mayor, John Hickenlooper, can you um, explain to people outside the state, again, because if John Hickenlooper gets elected here, how dangerous that's going to be for us? Uh, sure. John Hickenlooper is um, a, a mayor that uh, came onto the scene. And he is uh, an owner, was an owner of a number of restaurants. Uh, he sold them since uh, in the last couple of years, but he ha had a bunch of restaurants. They employed over a hundred and some illegal aliens identified by Social Security. Social Security had sent him, these, they're called no match letters, because he sent in Social Security numbers for these people, and they sent back saying none of these match. He didn't do anything about it. One of them actually ended up killing a Denver policeman. Uh, one of the individuals that he had working for him, whose ID was so was so bogus and so apparently bogus that the picture was taped on and you know, but he accepted that. His manager in his restaurant accepted that because that's the policy he said. Well that attitude toward illegal immigration seeped into his administration. And so Denver became a sanctuary city, which simply means that the police in Denver were to not um, talk to, to Immigration and Customs Enforcement, ICE, if they came across someone who was apparently here illegally, couldn't speak English, had no identification, had no, was driving without a license, you know, all the other things. They were not to say anything to ICE. That's part of cities all over the country who are doing that. Um, and when you do that, of course, you become a haven. Mm -hmm for illegal aliens. Some of them are, are people who are just wanting to work and that sort of thing, that's certainly true. But some of them are very bad folks. One more of his, I think a problem for him on his watch is that a little boy by the name of Martin Kudlis, three years old, was killed along with two other people. He was killed when he was sitting at a Baskin and Robbins store up in Aurora. Well, why is that a problem for the mayor? Well, I'll tell you why. Because that man who, who drove that car, crashed into one car, careened into the Baskin Robbins store, was an illegal alien who had been arrested in Denver or surrounding areas 16 times, but never turned over to ICE. That little boy might very well be alive today. Had, had, at any point in time, somebody had taken the correct action. He chose not to. That's what a sanctuary city is all about.
Well, if, if John Nickelooper became our governor, then we would have a sanctuary state, and we could expect that throughout our state, and that might uh, hurt not only us, but other people in other states that want to come visit. We're going to make... Know. We're going to make Colorado a model in many ways, a model for the Tenth Amendment, a model against illegal immigration, a model in, in the kind of reforms that we're going to put through in, uh, in our economy, especially in terms of uh, job development, and also a model for reduced government. Um, I don't believe, for instance, that Coloradans are undertaxed. Um, I think we are overgoverned, mm -hmm. and so we're going to be a model for a lot of things. Illegal immigration certainly will be one. Mm 